Hello Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you guys are new here friends. My name is Jazz and this is going to be another Capricorn installment here on Earth Vibes Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well today. Sit back, relax, take a chance. You guys smash that like button or you guys can leave a comment down below if you would like to. Just don't forget to make sure that your little monkey butt is subscribed to the channel for more content and for more of me bro let's get into it all right so get your coffee your tea your water your juice if you guys are ogs over on my main channel yo that used to be my little intro get your coffee your tea your water your juice because i would always have my little cup i'm about to get back with the cups so that's what we're gonna do here we're gonna get back on the cup guild i'm gonna start having my little my little starbucks cuppy cups that i used to get all the time i got rid of everything when i did my mass move um, so maybe I will start a little collection again, but anyway, let's get into the weekend vibe you guys for Capricorn. Those that are here, those that need a message, you have number 36, which is the second chakra Archangel Ariel. So that is actually looking at the sacral chakra, you guys. So this is looking at, uh, that lower energy down in your Ooh, excuse me, your um, pubic region. And it's where creativity, it's where that fire, that passion, um, drive kind of comes in. This is about creating, right? And birthing new energies into existence, making something happen. So, <laughs> something is being born, right? Something new is being born. This could be in, in the form of money. This could be in the form of a job or something that kind of goes on in your day-to-day -day life. But I feel like it is affecting you in a very major way here Capricorn this is this is new energy that is being bestowed upon you look at that we split the deck we have door to romance and the throat chakra so commute what in the <laughs> communication in the realms of love but let's go ahead and see what else wants to come through here so there is a lot of fire there's a lot of passion there's a lot of energy there is a lot of movement let's look at the weekend vibe for capricorn number 17 action taking action moving movement excuse me forward Someone's taking initiative here. This is a stance of initiative. This is trusting your intuition, letting your intuition lead you. Somebody is allowing their intuition to lead them. Somebody is pushing forward in the realms of something very passionate, something that they they have a lot of investment into it's like this person has invested a lot of time a lot of energy they feel very dedicated and harmonized and unionized with whatever this is this is really trying to take something to the next level this is about taking things to the next level this is, yeah, look at this, caring connections. This is about taking things to the next level. Somebody wants to take things to the next level by taking the initiative, making an effort, building this sense of stability or like a, like a very strong, um, stable foundation. Someone's wanting to take initiative. Somebody's wanting to make this happen and bring about change into a connection. This is truly about romance and about love. And this is having a lot to do with birthing something new into existence. This could be a project. This could be a child. This could be a home. And it really does bring things into balance here. You have Angel of Balance, number 48, followed by the Sixth Chakra Archangel Metatron, 
number 40, followed by number 22, Yin and Yang, and then Happy Family, which is number four. So there is this sense of balance and unity and duality and harmony this weekend. Right? And Angel of Balance is really like the justice card for me. And in that sense, that is Libra and energy, right? Things are becoming very balanced. Libra and energy is also ruled by Venus. So, you know, there is a lot of love and emotion that kind of goes on there. And, you know, that has a lot to do with self-love and what feels good to you, what makes you happy, what makes you, you know, feel elated in your life. But we have to kind of look at the energies here. Like, you have the yin and yang on the action card. You have the masculine and feminine on the caring connections card. You have the angel of balance, which is obviously the balancing of, of two energies. You have the third eye chakra here, which is this intuitiveness, this, this openness energy, followed by yin and yang. So this is about coming together. This is about a energetic balance of sorts between two people and this is a reflection that's coming in that is one of the strongest mirrors you've yet to encounter here in your life look at that Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you. All right, spirit, show us what we need to see. This this is pretty intense. This is this is truly about duality and initiative and mirroring and mm. this is the weekend vibe here for Capricorn. Show us what we need to see. Tell us about the energy of action with the second chakra. Archangel Ariel, tell us about the energy. Mm. I'm going to show you this. You have the Seven of Swords here with the Ace of Wands. We split the deck, you have the Hermit. Somebody's opening up to a secret. Or opening, opening a secret. Seven of Swords. There's a lot of energy and information that has been hidden. And it is in the realms of happiness. How one feels. No longer withholding. Look at this. Ten of Pentacles. No longer withholding. what's been hurting you inside like it's it's truly being open and honest about your feelings about your emotions ten of pentacles justice three of swords someone has been very hurt but this is about an expression of sorts right This is about an expression of sorts. Let's keep going. Show us more here for this energy of action for the weekend for Capricorn. Mm. Seven of Wands. Six of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Moon. The Devil, Eight of Pentacles, Two of Swords. I honestly feel like there is a lot that... What is this? It's sticking out. The Two of Cups. You see it? And the Two of Wands.
I feel like this is either somebody... I feel like somebody's trying to find their, their Ten of Cups. I truly do. I feel like there's somebody here that is heading in a new direction and they're looking for their Ten of Cups. You've got the Hierophant. The Four of Wands. And the Page of Pentacles. They're telling me there's a lack of resistance here. Someone's been truly upset. Five of swords, ten of swords. Somebody's been truly mentally anguished and mentally upset. Truly. And we have the high priestess. And there's a lot that they've been holding back and there's a lot that they've been keeping inside. But I feel like this this person may be ready to to express what that was. Yeah, eight of wands, communicate open up and communicate what this this information is what they've been holding back so i feel like this could go either way <clears throat> to be honest with you page of swords there is communication here of sorts that brings things in to balance so this could go either way and I feel like this is kind of the epitome of no decision is still a decision and things will be brought into a place of balance this weekend What is this communication? Knight of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. There's going to be a lot of like emotional overflow and words that have not been spoken in a long time. There's a lot of energy around what's been held back, what's been holding someone back and keeping somebody feeling very low. Four of Swords. Emperor, Ten of Wands, and the Fool. Something has come to a complete end and is now ready to take a leap of faith and start fresh. This is a fresh start. And with the Hierophant, the Four of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, this is a very serious fresh start. It's a very spiritually connected and divinely guided fresh start. It's about bringing things to justice and into balance in your life. Spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. It's about communicating on the very most simplistic level to get across your point for understanding. This is about creating and building solid foundations. Look at this, you have the Ace of Swords. There is a truth that shall be spoken this weekend. Nine of Pentacles.
with the tower, the magician. They're telling me this is coming from somebody who is now spiritually, spiritually, physically ready to come forward. There's somebody who is now, because the Nine of Pentacles you usually see as a very strong, independent individual who has their shit together and is ready to offer the pentacles that are extra to another person for love, for business, for whatever. And this person has also manifested this into their life and it's now like they are now ready. There has been some sort of tower moment that has occurred that is now enabling this energy, enabling this action, the magician, the star, the six of wands. There's a very successful or lucky bit of energy that kind of comes in. All right. Well then, let's get a little, uh, let's get a little, uh, closing message here. Whoa. Show us what we need to see. Closing messages here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please, Spirit. Number 35, breaking down to an eight, Angels of the seventh, Seven Chakras, Power, Truth, and Connection. With achievement, number 16, <sighs> completion, reward. There is a truth that comes in here. And this is the truth of your soul. And that is giving you that power and we see that with the second shock where we talked about that at the very beginning and that's where the initiation comes from all right and this is giving you the sense of completion right bottom of the deck is karmic lessons past life guides with freedom so basically what's happening here is you're finding freedom from uh, a cycle that you guys were, were in and this is coming from the alignment um, of your soul this is coming from the alignment of who you are of your energies and you're finally ready to complete this cycle and start a new one and that's that's really what's happening here right and you're being blessed with new opportunities so I'm gonna leave this here I love you guys I appreciate you and I'll speak to you all very very soon bye